What's up everyone, Coach Jim here, and today we're gonna to talk about the Olympic lifts. What they are, the basic technique, and then some exercises that you can do at home to get a bit of a taste for them. If you wanna play along at home, grab yourself a pair of dumbbells or some canned goods, and let's get started. All right, the Olympic lifts, AKA weightlifting, all one word, are two contested lifts, the snatch and the clean and jerk. In both cases, you're trying to lift the most amount of weight from the ground to overhead, and then hold it under control until a judge gives you a down command. This is different than powerlifting, which you might've heard of before. Powerlifting consists of the three lifts of the squat, the bench, and the deadlift. So different lifts, different competitions. For the snatch, the athlete grabs the bar nice and wide, and then lifts that thing overhead in essentially one big motion. For the clean and jerk, it's broken up into the clean and then the jerk. The clean consists of bringing that bar from the ground up to your shoulders. And then the jerk consists of bringing that bar from your shoulders to overhead. The basic technique for the snatch, the clean, and the jerk is that you're looking to explode upwards to lift the weight and then have a quick change of direction to get underneath that weight and catch it nice and strong. We actually already see quick changes of direction with exercises like box jumps. You're exploding upwards and then those legs have to change direction and tuck underneath you in order to put your feet up on the box. All right, that's the bare basics. Let's get started into some fun exercises we can do. All right, before we start working on more dynamic exercises, Let's just warm up with some basic squats. So let's get our feet set, shoulder width apart, okay? And let's do 10 squats together. Ready, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, keep the chest up, seven, push the knees out, eight, couple more, nine, and 10. Good, great job. All right, next we're going to practice that exploding upwards and then the quick change of direction. What I mentioned being the basic technique of the Olympic lifts. So for this next drill, instead of getting your feet set shoulder width apart in the squat width, I actually want you to bring your feet underneath you hip width. Think of the width of your feet when you're getting ready to explode upwards into a jump. That's where we want our feet to be. Now, next, once we have our feet set like this, we're gonna get into the power position. The power position is like a loaded spring and it's something that we're gonna see time and time again in the snatch, in the clean, and in the jerk. So to get in that power position, feet hip width apart, and then just bend the knees slightly. So again, feet hip width apart, bend the knees slightly. This is our power position. Once we're in our power position, we're then going to explode upwards and then quickly change direction and drop down into a squat. So to show you from the top, feet set, hip width apart, bend the knees slightly. I'm gonna put my hands up for balance. I'm going to pop and drop. Then stand up, reset the feet, and we can do it again. Power position, pop and drop. From the other side, getting set, feet hip width apart. I'm in my power position. Pop and drop. So as I've mentioned before, you can see that quick explosion, quick change of direction. There's a rhythm to this exercise and you should really feel that rhythm of the pop and the drop as you go through this. All right, we're gonna take that concept of exploding upwards with a quick change of direction and apply it into the exercise of the dumbbell snatch. Now, if you remember the original barbell snatch that we talked about earlier, the athlete is going to be grabbing the bar nice and wide and whipping that bar up and overhead in essentially one big motion. What we're gonna be doing with the dumbbell snatch though is only using one arm at a time. So instead of catching like this, our end position is going to be like this, with the weight nice and strong overhead. Now, before we grab weights or canned goods, let's practice this with no weight. 
So you're going to get yourself set, feet hip width apart. From here, we're going to bend the knees slightly. Remember, this is our power position. We're nice and strong like a loaded spring. From here, you're gonna put your hand right in front like this. This is gonna hold the weight when we do the exercise. And now from here, we'll do it slow to start. You're going to explode upwards. You're going to guide the weight in front of you like this. So all this energy is going right up into the weight to lift it up. We're gonna step our feet out since we're doing this in slow motion. But as the weight continues to rise, you're going to squat underneath it. This is our quick change of direction. Slow right now because we're doing it in slow motion. You get down until you're able to lock the arm out nice and strong, and then you stand on up. So full speed, what this looks like, getting myself set, bend the knees slightly, hand in front, pop, drop, explode. Again, it's that same explosion upwards, the same quick change of direction so that I can catch that weight nice and strong overhead before standing up. It's the same type of pop and drop that we had before. Except this time we're now guiding that weight in front of us and catching it strong overhead. All right, let's put it all together. Let's try it with some weights. All right, so we've got our single dumbbell. Let's get set in position. So you can get your feet set hip width or a little wider apart. Hands set right in front of you like that with the dumbbell. Let's bend the knees slightly. This is our power position. This is a loaded spring ready to go. And now when you explode, this is again, nice rhythm to it. Just like our previous drills, you want to pop and drop nice and quick and extend the arm nice and strong overhead to support the weight. So set and up. Again, reset, weight in front, get set in my power position, that loaded spring position, ready and pop, drop, and stand on up. Now, if you're unable to lift the weight and catch it nice and strong overhead like this, maybe think about adjusting the weight. Could be a little bit too heavy. You definitely want to start a little bit lighter than you think. Second thing you think about is really exploding up nice and strong. Again, like you're jumping. This is really going to put the power into the weight so that it will continue flying up overhead. And then the third thing you can think about is again, that quick change of direction. We're trying to drop into that squat and extend the arm at the same time. If we drop down and then extend our arm later, it just doesn't work. Have it happen both at the same time. All right, on to the next exercise, the dumbbell clean. Now, with the dumbbell snatch, we finished off with the weight overhead, arm fully extended. For the dumbbell clean, we're gonna finish off with the weight right up at your shoulders. So just like with the dumbbell snatch, let's practice this without weight, slow motion. So getting my feet set, bending the knees. What is this called? Power position, you got it. I'm gonna have my hands right by the side here for this exercise. This is where the weights are gonna be when I have them. And then what's going to happen, slow motion, we're going to explode upwards, the weights are gonna continue upwards just like they did with that dumbbell snatch. When they start getting up around the chest and the shoulder height, I'm gonna change the directions. So my feet are gonna be shuffling outwards and I'm gonna be dropping into a squat to get underneath the weights and catch them. So again, slow motion, feet underneath me, bend the knees slightly, my power position, weight by my side, explode upwards, weights continue upwards, my feet will go faster in the real version, but then I'm going to drop underneath like that. A little bit easier than the dumbbell snatch, the weight moves uh, less distance as well too. So let's go full speed on this one with no weight. Feet set underneath me like I'm getting ready to jump. Bend the knees slightly, hands by the side. When I say go, we're gonna pop and drop. It's the same exact pop and drop we've seen the whole time. Ready and go, pop drop, and recover. Let's get our feet set one more time. Power position, pop, drop, and then recover. All right, let's give that a go with some weights now. You can use two dumbbells or just a single dumbbell, but in this case, I'm going to demonstrate with two dumbbells. So the end position will be up here. This is the starting position. Get my feet set underneath me, bend the knees slightly. This is our power position. I am a loaded spring. 
And then from here, pop, drop, and recover. So with this exercise, again, you should be feeling the same rhythm we've had for all the different drills, all the different exercises that we've had today. All right, on to the third and final lift, the jerk. Now, if you remember from my earlier descriptions, you'll remember that the clean and the jerk are done together. So the athlete would take the bar from the ground, clean it up to their shoulders, and then they would jerk it up overhead to complete the lift. Instead of being in a squat-like position, like we did for the clean or the snatch, we're actually going to take a staggered stance. So if we're standing here with our feet up underneath us, hip width apart, I want you to take a half step forward, take a half step back, and move your feet a little bit wider if you need to. We're not on a tightrope here. We have a nice, good, strong, stable base to be able to support weight. So this is our end position. Now, we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna practice exploding upwards and getting into this position nice and quick. So get our feet set underneath us, hip width apart like we're about ready to jump, bend the knees slightly. You already know what this is called. I'm not going to even say it. And we can put our hands right up here in front of our chest for this one. We're going to explode upwards, put the feet out right in the same positions, right in the same places that you just had them. So set you like this, pop, and set. That's the quick change of direction that we have in the jerk. All right, let's combine that with the arm movement, and then, of course, we will grab some weights, have some fun with it. So feet underneath us like this. Now with the hands, we've just completed that jerk. I'm sorry, we've just completed that clean. So the weights are gonna be right up here at my shoulders. So this is where I'm gonna be starting off. I'm gonna dip on down to power position, and then you're going to explode upwards. The weight's gonna go upwards. I'm gonna go off into that staggered position and extend my arms nice and strong. So power position, explode, boom. Weights overhead. You notice on my catch position, everything stops moving at the same time. Boom, I am locked underneath that weight. I am scaffolding underneath that weight. And then I'm able to get my feet back underneath me to complete the lift. All right, let's grab some weights and let's do this for real. All right, so the weight, Again, we'll start up at the shoulders here and get yourself set down in power position. When you're ready, explode upwards, drop down with the arms fully extended overhead, legs in that staggered position. Let's do that again. Get your weight set up at your shoulders, bend the knees slightly. We're at that loaded spring, we're in that power position. Explode upwards, really lock those arms out nice and strong as you take those steps forward and back. And then get those feet underneath you to recover. All right, if you've come this far, let's put those two exercises together and do the dumbbell clean, immediately followed by the dumbbell jerk. So getting our feet set underneath us, weights by the side, let's bend the legs into the power position. When you're ready, pop and drop. And come on up and recover, get your feet underneath you. Then from here, bend on down to the power position, pop and drop into that split jerk. From here, get your feet underneath you and recover. I'm Coach Jim, and you just learned how to lift like an Olympian.